this video, I'm going to discuss about this molecular orbital energy diagram of hydrogen fluoride, that is HF. Yes, if you look at the electronic configuration of uh, hydrogen and fluorine, here, hydrogen uh, with atomic number of 1, it has an electronic configuration of 1s1. Fluorine with the atomic number of 9, it has an electronic configuration of 1s2 to s2 to p5. And if you see that there is a large electronegativity difference in between hydrogen and fluorine, in fact, fluorine is the most electronegative element uh, in the whole periodic table where its electronegativity is. What is electronegativity? Electronegativity is the tendency uh, to attract the electrons. So fluorine is the most electronegative element of the whole periodic table. And there is a vast difference in between the electronegativity of hydrogen and fluorine. I'll discuss this. Again, yes, uh, when we try to draw the molecular orbital energy diagram of hydrogen fluoride, here I'm taking the hydrogen uh, and here this is a fluorine, this is the energy level. And when I'm, uh, if you can see here, uh, this one, uh, I mean, uh, for hydrogen, it is only 1s1 and fluorine, it is 1s2. 2s2 and 2p5. So I've drawn all the orbitals here, fluorine 1s, 2s, 2p and hydrogen 1s. See, if you see that the fluorine 2p orbital is lower in energy when compared to that of the hydrogen 1s orbital. So uh, even 2p orbital of this fluorine is at the lower energy level when compared to that of this 1s orbital. So during the formation of this molecular orbitals, that means during the formation of the molecule here. So I'll, uh, uh, yes, uh, one second. So during the formation of the molecule of hydrogen fluoride here, so 1s2, 2s2, and 2p5 here. Right here it is only 1s1. And if you can see this 1s orbital, uh, I mean, the fluorine 1s orbital uh, is an inner orbital, so do not take part in the bonding, so remains as a non-bonding um, electron. So uh, I'll show this non-bonding, that means non-bonding, which is does not participate in the bonding, and it uh, remains at the same level. So here it remains at the same level, so resulting in the formation of non-bonding electrons. So this is a non-bonding electrons and 2s orbital also do not take part, uh, I mean, do not uh, participate in bonding or its energy level is not matching with the 1s orbital of the hydrogen atom. So this overlap or linear combination is not possible in between the 1s of hydrogen and 2s of fluorine. So this also remains as a non-bonding electron. So this is 1s and this is 2s which is remaining as non-bonding. So 1s2, 2s2. So I'll uh, represent the electrons there. So here the electrons, two non-bonding electrons of 1s2 and two non-bonding electrons of this 2s2. And when you uh, come for this 2p orbital, so 2p as again px, py and pz. So this 2p orbitals, this is px, uh, py and pz orbital. This pz orbital is the same phase as that of or same symmetry as that of 1s orbital. That means in phase orbital, that means here. The lobes of this pz are oriented along the internuclear axis so that because of the same symmetry, so sp combination or uh, linear combination of this 1s orbital of this hydrogen and 2p z orbital of this fluorine will uh, combine resulting in the formation of sigma orbital so which are named as sigma so this here the combination of pz and uh, 1s of this so bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals, right? So the combination of this 1s orbital of uh, hydrogen and these 2pz orbital of this fluorine results in the formation of sigma, sigma spz. Here, sigma star, this is an antibonding spz orbital, um, molecular orbitals here. And here, there are 
two more orbitals that is px and py which uh, again uh, is uh, unable to overlap with the vanessa orbital because the symmetry is not matching again where they are perpendicular to the internuclear axis so they remain as non bonding electrons uh, again in the same line that means non bonding means which do not participate in the bonding so this is the non bonding electron i mean orbitals here so if i uh, fill the electrons there here so here again these are non bonding px and py py so these are non bonding electrons where they are px and py this is 2px and 2py and here so one electron of one s and one electron of p z will go into the bonding molecular orbital so that the bonding molecular orbital becomes filled so this is a molecular orbital energy level diagram for hydrogen fluoride where the one s orbital of this hydrogen is linearly combining with the two p z orbital of fluorine because they are they are of the same symmetry and almost of the same energy here that is why s p z combination occurs so spz sigma orbital and spz anti bonding sigma orbital uh, are uh, forming here so these three are non bonding electrons here uh, one is 2 and two is 2 and this 2px and 2py all these are non bonding electrons and if i write the electronic uh, configuration of uh, uh, this so this will be one is 2 2s2 then comes sigma sigma s p z 2 and here uh, 2p x 2 and 2p y 2 so since there are no unpaired electrons if you can see them all the orbitals are being filled so it is diamagnetic in nature and it is colorless because there is no unpaired electron and it is stable uh, and yeah if you calculate the bond order so half into the number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbital minus the number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbitals so half into number of electrons in the bonding only this one and this one is and bonding and anti bonding remaining all are non bonding electrons only so here so this one should be taken into consideration for bonding and minus there are no electrons in the anti bonding so zero half into 2 is 1 so the bond order is 1 since the bond order is 1 it is stable that means uh, it's positive stable and the molecule do exist and there since there are no unpaired electrons it is diamagnetic in nature and this is colorless because again there is no unpaired electron and if you observe one more thing here i said there is a last uh, i mean large or vast electronegativity difference in between hydrogen and fluorine and because of this reason you can see that here this uh, uh, diagram is not symmetrical right during the formation of this molecular orbitals here uh, here here the contribution of the atomic orbitals of more electronegative atom that means of the fluorine atom is more towards the formation of this bonding molecular orbital and less towards the formation of this anti bonding molecular that means uh, more electronegative atom that means fluorine atom atomic orbitals contribute more towards the formation of those bonding molecular orbitals and less electronegative atom that is hydrogen atom atomic orbitals contribute more towards the formation of this anti bonding molecular orbitals and that is why i have written here also the bonding molecular orbitals is closer towards this uh, fluorine atom and anti bonding molecular orbitals are closer towards this hydrogen atom which is less electronegative atom so always bonding molecular orbitals are closer towards more electronegative atom and anti bonding more closer towards um, less electronegative atom because during their formation the contribution is different here as a result the electrons uh, here are also uh, i mean the molecular orbitals are not equally uh, uh, closer towards this uh, more electronegative and less electronegative atom so in the formation of hf here so that is why hf bond is polar here it's a polar covalent bond if you can see this polar covalent bond and the molecule as a whole is unsymmetrical you can see the diagram also the bonding molecular orbital is more closer towards more electronegative atom and anti bonding molecular orbitals is more closer towards um, hydrogen atom here if you can see 
Yes, this is about the molecular orbital energy diagram of hydrogen fluoride. If you like it, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. And the whole chapter of this chemical bonding has been discussed on my YouTube channel and the details of it is been given in the description box below.